Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going to learn about the exponential function in Salesforce. And we are going to learn this concept for both Salesforce Lightning as well as a classic user interface of a Salesforce and learn how we can use this exponential function in the formula field to calculate the exponential values. So before I will proceed to the today's topic, there is a one good news for you that we have launched our Salesforce admin course. So this is a completely for beginners as well as the expertise. If you want to learn the Salesforce admin from basic to the advanced level. So if you want to learn the Salesforce admin tree, so if you want to learn, you can uh, go and purchase our course uh, and the link of the course is given in the description box. And, and uh, for some period of a time, we are providing the 50% discount that uh, you are not getting anywhere on any website uh, for Salesforce admin complete training. So without wasting your time, just uh, click on the link that is given in the description box and uh, go through our course and purchase it. Maybe you have a question in your mind why you purchase from us. So our Salesforce admin training course have some, have some several benefits like it has a 9 plus 1 modules with real business example. We have covered up a 21 plus or HD videos that you can watch anytime according to your piece. This uh, courses have a lifetime assess. You will get a extra PDF uh, material for uh, guidance also and we uh, give you a certification of completion at the end of course if you get any doubt we have a facebook group for that and even we are clearing your doubts and prepare you for the interviews so you can see here we have a complete table of content for our salesforce admin course we are going to cover up from the introduction to salesforce to the salesforce navigation and setup where we are going to let you know how you can navigate from the lightning to the classic and what are the different uh, features of the lightning uh, app builder and even we are covering the user management with its security feature like how you can create freeze the user and protect your salesforce org from with the security features like how you can protect your record fields as well as the application objects and a tab also and uh, moreover we are covering how you can create apps objects and tab in salesforce lightning as well as a classic interface we have covered up all the fields that are there in salesforce in both of the user interfaces with the formulas and the functions also and uh, moving ahead towards the advanced topic we are covering up the uh, creation of the buttons links action pages page layout and the list view uh, so that you can easily handle out your uh, salesforce application we also cover up the concept of a schema builder to the process builder with the validation rules moving ahead to giving you a visualizations uh, for the salesforce data we cover up the salesforce report and the dashboard with in the lightning as well as the classic interface even we have covered up the data management thing that if you want to work with the bulk data in a one go how you can do that using uh, different uh, tools in a salesforce and we have covered up each and every concept of the data loader and uh, last but not the least we are also covering about uh, the external ids and the ids operation that you can perform so here is the complete information about the course that you will get uh, from the link that I given in the description box. So once again, I want to inform you that we are giving you this course at the 50% of discount right now. And we are covering both lightning as well as the classic interface for all the topics that are in Salesforce administrate from basic to advanced level and this course is for both as for a beginners as well as a expertise so without any a second thought just click on the link and, and purchase our course and continue your salesforce journey with us now let's move to back to our topic uh, our salesforce exponential function so let's firstly understand what does we mean by the exponential function in salesforce lightning so Salesforce exponential function is one of the mathematical function that is used in the calculation and this exponential function is used to calculate the exponential value as it shows it from the name and it supports the numerical uh, data type only like decimals or integers and if you pass any other uh, data like uh, text or dates it will give you an error. 
and uh, this function returns the value e raised to power of the numerical parameter that we have specified now let's see its syntax how it can be written in salesforce and here the syntax is given on your screen uh, you can see that the value for which we are finding uh, exp exponential is the value of the number field or the formula parameter uh, and the parameter value may be a field a fixed number or the advanced formula so now let's proceed and learn how we can use this exponential function with the help of example in salesforce lightning interface so here i open my salesforce account in the salesforce lightning interface and by default i am on the home page of a service app uh, as it set as a default uh, landing page for my application now to redirect myself to the main home setup page of a salesforce lightning i click on the gear icon that is given on the right side and from here i click on the setup once i click on that it will redirect me to the lightning home setup page of a salesforce and uh, here you will get a object manager option given even on the top of the corner so once i click on that it will take me to the page where i will get the list of all the objects that are in salesforce either it is a custom or the standard one it's time to choose up the object on which you want to use the exponential function so i am going to show you the example for the camping as i want to track the reach of the advertisement of the camping so here i search for the camping in the quick find box that is given on the right side and here it gives me a result for the camping i click on that and it will redirect me to the camping object manager page on the left side bar we have a option of a fields and relationship now i click on that as i want to create up the field for this camping and on the right side now it's give me all the fields uh, that are in uh, salesforce camping object already and uh, as our agenda is to use the exponential function and the exponential function we are going to use in the formula field and to creating up the new formula field we have to click on the new button that is given on the top right once i click on that it will take me to the page where i need to choose up the field type and out of which as i need the formula i click on the radio button given next to it and after that i click on the next button to proceed to the next step now in the next step we have to enter the name for the field that we are going to create in the field label and the field name is automatically populated based upon that so as i want to calculate the camping uh, advertisement reach so here i am entering the label as a advertisement reach and you can see the field name get automatically populated now it's time to choose up the return type for your uh, formula so as uh, i want to get the advertisement reach it will gives me a result in the number format i click the num but as a return type by clicking on the radio button and by default it has a decimal value selected to 2 if you want to change you can change that otherwise you need to click on the next button to proceed to the next step now in this next step you have to enter the formula for your uh, requirement using the exponential function as i have told you i want to calculate the reach of the advertising uh, of the camping using the exponential function so i am going to create up the formula for that firstly to get up the function on the right side we have a function section under this we have a all function categories as a drop down it gives us a different categories and as you know that this function is a one of the mathematical function you need to click on the math it gives you all the function under this mathematical category and here you can see that you find the exponential as a function you need to click on that select it and under this it gives you option of insert selected function once you click on that it will enter this function to the formula editor and you need to pass the parameters according to that now if you want to add any operator you need to click on the button that is given on the top it will gives you the list of all the operators that we have including the open and the close parenthesis if you enter the field as a parameter so here in have a button of a insert field once you click on that it will gives you the result for the all fields you need to click on the field select it and click on the insert button to add it successfully to that particular formula so it's uh, recommended you that uh, you don't need to enter the field uh, manually by typing as it cause a error so you just need to click the field from the insert field button and entered it up so let's uh, enter my formula here first so here i enter my formula now i click on the check 
syntax button to check whether it has any error or not so you can see that there is a no syntax error in this function it is completely fine the next option we have a, a description and help text if you want to add you can add it and if you want to handle the blank fields you can also set it uh, uh, as we have two options like you want to treat it as a blank uh, fields as a zero or you want to treat the blank field as a blanks value it is only working for the number currency and the percentage field so you can do this uh, according to your need so before we will proceed to next step let's firstly understand about this function here i take a audience field that specify the audience size and we have a view field that specify that we have uh, already recorded numbers of a view the firstly here i subtract the exponential value of the view from the one so by using the exponential function here you can see that and next i multiply the result by the audience size to get the final result of the camping advertisement reach to the audience so now i click on the uh, next step to proceed to the uh, next uh, step so here I am uh, on the step of uh, setting up a uh, feed level security here I need to select up the profile to which I want to run the edit access for that particular feed level security this field will be hidden from all the profile if you don't uh, want to add it on the field level security here we have a checkbox for the visible if you want to make this uh, field visible to that particular profile you need to check the checkbox if you don't want to do that you need to uncheck it and if you want to get if the access to all the profile you simply need to click on the visible checkbox even on the top after doing such thing you need to click on the next button and proceed to the next step here you need to set up the page layout here uh, you need to select up the page layout that will include this field and uh, this field will be added as the last field in the first two column section of this page layout and if you not select the page layout the field will not be appear on that particular page layout here we have only one that is by default selected so i simply click on the save button as i want to complete this process of creating the formula field that calculate the exponential value for the uh, my requirement using the exponential function so let's see how it's work for that i click on the app launcher given on the left side and here i need to search for the camping as i create my uh, exponential formula for the camping's object so once i click on that it redirects me to the campings as an object and uh, here i will uh, get the list of all the campings that i have in my salesforce account so let's change it to the all active campaigns so here uh, there are the campaigns now let's edit any one of them to check how it's uh, working so here i uh, edited it move to the details section so as we have a so as uh, we need up a uh, audience and the views for this uh, formula to calculate it here we have a uh, audience as a field so i enter the audience value as a uh, 15 and the views as a uh, 200 so i click on the save so it calculates the uh, advertisement reach for that you can see that it gives me a result in the minus so here it is the result that is given in the exponential uh, it's a two bug result uh, according to the exponential power so it's just one example uh, for letting you know how the exponential function works in formula field now let's proceed and learn how we can use this exponential function in the classic user interface for that click on the profile given on the right and here we have option of a switch to a salesforce classic when i click on that it will redirect me to the classic interface of a salesforce and from here we need to redirect ourselves to the classic setup that is given uh, on the right side of the top option so here i click on the setup option once i click on that it will take me to the classic setup page and here you can see that on the left side we have a option of a build section once you scroll down and under this you have a customize as a drop down expand it you will get all the uh, standard objects that are uh, there in a salesforce uh, classic if you want to get the custom ones you need to scroll down and click on the create here you have option of objects here you need to click and you will get the list of the custom objects from there so it's time to decide on which object you want to use this exponential function as i am going to show you the example for the leads as i want to track 
at the future sales for the leads so i click on the leads as object and expand it and here i get the option of a fields once i click on a fields it will take me to the page where i will get the list of all the fields and that are already created in this uh, leads object now to create up the custom field you need to scroll down and it gives you a section of a leads custom fields and relationship to create up the new you need to click on the new button and once you click on the new button it will take you to the page where you will need to select up the formula uh, or where you need to select up the field type so here as i am going to create up the formula field so here i click on the radio button next to the formula and click on the next button to proceed to the next step and here you now re enter the field name so here i will enter the field label for my requirement as a forecast sales uh, so it will you can see that automatically enter the field name according to the field label that we entered and uh, now it's time to choose up the return type for the uh, formula that we are going to create i set it to the number as it gives me the result in a number by default decimal places are set to two if you want to change you can do that otherwise click on the next button to proceed to the next step now in this next step you have to enter the formula for the uh, requirement that calculates the exponential value using the exponential function uh, as i want to calculate the future sale using the exponential function so if you want to enter the function you need to click on the function category from here you will get uh, a categories option you need to select the categories as a mathematical after that you will get the list of functions that are in this mathematical category from here you need to select the function i click on the exponential and uh, after selecting it you need to click on the insert selected function button and then you have a insert operator button uh, which will gives you the list of all the operators that are there in a sales force you can enter it up and if you want to insert a field you need to click on insert field button option select the field and click on the insert button to insert it down now let's enter the formula uh, first on this formula data bar so here i enter my formula now to check whether it is correct or not i click on the check syntax button if there is a no error it gives me a option of that there is a no error but it gives me a, a spelling mistake that uh, this field uh, previous sales is not exist this is because here by mistake i entered the double c so i recommend you to insert the field from the insert field button if you type manually it will gives you error this kind of so here i correct it and again click on the check syntax button once i click on that you can see that now it gives me a no error it shows that it is perfectly fine so basically in this formula i take a previous sales field that specify the sales value in the previous time and the growth field specify the growth in the sale in the time field specify the time period for which we want to predict so firstly we are multiplying the growth rate of the sales by the expected time period and then pass it to the exponential function to get the exponential value and uh, last time multiply the previous sale uh, by the resultant value as i want to finally get the forecasted value for the sales so here if you want to add the description in the help text you can have a optional value for that you can add it down in the particular fields and even you can handle the blank fields if you after setting up all such thing you need to click on the next button and in the next step you are going to set up the field level security for uh, which profile you want to run the edit assess of that particular field so for this you need to select that uh, this field will be visible to which profile and uh, to set it that you need to check the checkbox given next to that particular profile in the visible column if you don't want to give it you can uncheck it and uh, after that you need to click on the next button where you need to set up the page layout on which it is vi visible that field and uh, this field is added as the last field in the first two column section of that particular page layout here all the page layouts are by default selected down if you don't want to add it on any page you can unselect it and after making such things you need to click on the save button once you click on a save button it successfully created up the formula field with the exponential uh, function that calculates the exponential value according to your requirement now let's see how it's working so here on the top of the bar we have a leads as object i click on that and it will take me to the page where i will get the all leads so here i click on the go and select up one particular lead and edit it to show you how it's working so here i'm going to edit one it will take me to the detail page so here i am have to enter the value for the 
previous sale growth and time here are my uh, fields so here let's uh, enter the values in that particular field i enter the previous sales as a 100 uh, growth i entered as a 0 0.05 and the time i entered as a as a 2 and uh, once i click on a save you can see that it uh, calculates the forecasted sale as a 1000 why it's calculated because here the growth is set to the 0 so let's change it to the 5 and i again click on a save and once i click on save you can see that here it changed the forecasted sales value to the this value so with this we have learned to use up the exponential function in salesforce lighting as well as a classic interface of a salesforce if you like this video click on the like button and also subscribe to channel for more videos like this one thanking you for every thank you uh, thank you everyone for watching this thank you everyone for watching this video have a nice day heard thank you everyone for watching this video and a, and have a good day